Brewing beer in Roseburg dates all the way back to 1850s when God, goat, goat lib, uh. <laughs> And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, episode two coming at you of Between Two Rivers, the show about our beautiful Berg. And for those of you that don't know where Roseburg is, it's an hour south from Eugene, home of the Ducks, by the way. Boo. Come on now. On a serious note, we want to be able to touch on the current COVID-19 restrictions. As much as we want to be able to have you guys visit our beautiful place we call Roseburg, make sure you keep your distance, social distancing, and also make sure you wear your mask, all right? Hope you guys are thirsty because on this episode, it's all about the beer, people, specifically local brewed beer. We're here to talk about the history of the beer here in Roseburg, as well as sitting down with local brewmasters and also most definitely doing a few samples. Brewing beer in Roseburg dates all the way back to 1850s when God, goat, goat lib, uh, is it goat, Gottlieb mill? Goat lieb. Gottlieb. Gottlieb. Okay, my apologies to the male family. I totally butchered that, uh, what he said. He began selling beer, cider, and other drinks from his brewery here in Roseburg. Way back in 1866, he was joined by John Nast and the brewery was moved to where the Douglas County Courthouse stands today. This location was ideal for the brewery because of the plot of land had a natural spring to it. Kegs from this brewery were delivered as far away as Glendale. And we're talking back in the day, ladies and gentlemen, so we're covered wagons and some horses. Them kegs are nothing to play with. More and more breweries began popping up in the Roseburg area, including the Max Weiss Brewery back in 1898. And the Roseburg Brewing and Ice Company, who are known for their Roseburger export beer. This trend of opening new breweries continued until Prohibition. When these breweries shut down and illegal steels were constructed just outside of town, hidden through the beautiful Umpqua Forest. Moonshine for anybody? Just, no, we're not gonna talk. Okay, we'll just keep rolling. More recently, the brewing industry in Roseburg has gone through something of a renaissance. Back in 1991, Umpqua Brewery opened and ushered in a new age of local beer. Currently, there are nine breweries in our beautiful Berg alone. Backside, Drapers, Cantonou, Looking Glass, Mick Minimins, North 40, Old 99, and of course, a little place called Salud Brewery. You might want to check that out. And also the homies down at Two Shy Brewery. Today we're going to go check out my main man, Mr. Lau from Two Shy Brewing, located right off of Garden Valley at the end of Park Street. We're going to be stopping by his place. He's going to give us an awesome little tour and give us a little bit of details of one of the original Roseburger beers, their Deja Vu Lager. If you guys are thirsty, I know I am. Let's ride. We made it to the homie spot here at Two Shy Brewing. I'm about to go see the man himself, Mr. Lyle. What's hey up, man? Dude? How are you? Excellent. How are you doing? Hey, man. Just looking beautiful right now, man. We're right excited on. to be able to check out what you got going on. Let's Excellent. go to the official kitchen to be able to see what's brewing. Perfect. We're officially in the kitchen, or as the proper term here is brewery nerds, we like to call it the brew house. We're, we're officially where the magic happens. I'm with the man himself, Mr. Lau from Two Shy Brewery. First and foremost, man, I know. I think that's one of the cool stories to be able to talk about. The actual name itself, Two Shy Brewing. Where did that actually come about? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Way back when uh, we first started, back in 2010, my mm -hmm. garage, um, we were just making beer. You know, 2010 was a hard time. Um, work was slow, so I started making beer in my garage. Um, my friend, neighbor Paul, came over, and we gotcha. used to, we were making beer together. Of course, when we were making beer together, we're drinking beer together. Right. And as we're drinking and having a good time, we mess up. And it's true. Uh, Either we oversample, or we would overboil. Keyword, key sample. 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 Sampling. 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 Um, anyway, we would end up uh, two shy, two bottles shy of a full, uh, two full cases of 22s out of the batch of beer. So we started calling ourselves Two Shy Brewing. You know, like two bricks short of a load. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Starting as uh, you know, home brewers and being able to do smaller batches. Yep. Now you got like one of the bigger systems now. You're on how big of a barrel system now? We're on a 15 barrel system now and we still kept our three barrel pilot system as well. It's beautiful. And so that gives us a lot of diversity in our For beers. Sure. 
And How's the beer scene going, man? Do you think, and this is one of those things for us as far as a brew community here in Roseburg, do you see it growing and getting in bigger heights? Um, I think it's growing. And you know, I attribute a lot of that to our, our North home called River Water. Dude. We have great water here and it makes really good beer. Cause we always have our favorites as brewers, myself included. I like the lighter style of the beers. Where mm -hmm. you find yourself at? Gosh, I'm really all over the chart. Perfect. Um, I really like I like the lighter stuff on a hot summer day, and I like the uh, the stouter stuff in the winter. You know, I like I'm, it. I really I'm all over the place. As the customers come in, do you find them drinking more of the lighter beers, more of the heavier beers, or is it just everywhere every day? It really it really is everywhere. Um, the IPAs are always king, of course. Gotcha. And the hazy IPAs especially right now, but um, the sours are taking off. That's Perfect. they're pretty uh, they're popular right now. But also you know we're in the middle of the winter, so this is true. A lot of porter, a lot of stouts. Gotcha. A lot of barrel-aged beers are, are selling well right now. I know that you recently uh, came out with the beer, the Deja Vu Lager. Yeah. Tell me about how that beer even came about, because as far as uh, the little bit that I know about it, it's an actual old school recipe from way back in the day. I started researching uh, the Roseburg Beer and Ice Company that mm. is was back in the 1800s where yeah. the Umpqua Dairy is today. And uh, Gotcha. So I started uh, trying to connect and figure out who the brewer was. There's a beer historian in New York that was very helpful. And uh, he actually, we couldn't find the actual recipe. Mm -hmm. So we started researching the brewer and we gotcha. figured out where the brewer went to school uh, to be a brewer. And then we found the textbook. From the textbook, we researched his recipe mm -hmm. and then we researched what was available in the Umpqua Valley back in the day, early eight, or yeah, mid 1800s, late, uh, early 1900s. Perfect. And uh, we built basically the beer off of what was available here, mm -hmm. what strains of yeast were around the state then. And that beer, that brewery, was actually one of the biggest breweries in the state of Oregon at the time. Um, and actually, they made up to 50 barrels a month Whoa. of beer. So they, they did pretty well. So 50 barrels to, is correct me if I'm wrong, 100 kegs. Yeah. So you're talking about 100 kegs back in the late 1800s on some covered wagons, do the horse yep. and buggy. That is a lot. That's a lot. And they I were mean, doing it in oak. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the beer, it's always nice to be able to do, but mm -hmm. we do it with a little bit of sample of the beer. Oh, of course. Let's get our sample on. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is almost a wrap for me here on episode two of Between Two Rivers here with the man himself, Mr. Lau. Please come out, check them out over here on Garden Valley Boulevard. As for me, I'm going to make sure I uh, still try to figure out how to be able to sample beer with the mess. But uh, I'm going to take my samples. Wow, I appreciate you, brother. Cheers. And uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of good stuff. Follow us on experienceroseburg.com. It's pretty good. We're going to continue sampling. Peace, guys.